Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the awesome God that you are. We thank you for the awesome works that you are doing in our lives. We thank you for the 31 days of grace and favor. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. As you're coming in, please kindly introduce yourself. Where are you tuning in from? Um, which country, which city? If you are in South Africa, let me know which part of South Africa you are tuning in from. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. Welcome to those of you who are coming in on TikTok. Hallelujah. I see you. My Seni, you are welcome. Ronald Ala Nason. Ronald Nason. I hope I pronounced that right. Welcome to those of you on Mara Official. Welcome to those of you on Fortune Ellen Line. You know how we do it. We start tapping. We start make sure that you are power tapping. You are introducing yourself. You let us know where you are tuning in from. And we're going to get into the word of God. Um, Victoria, yes, we will definitely be praying. That is why we start our devotion like that. We start the devotion with prayer and and the word of God, and we get the foundational basis of what the prophetic word is saying to us and what we are praying for today. Domiga Isa, welcome from South Africa, Cape Town. Hope to visit there soon. Ronald Nason, thank you so much from Port Elizabeth. Donnell, love uh, from Guyana. Interesting. I would love to visit Guyana one day. That's a country I've not been to. Kudzi, you're welcome. Tiamo, you're welcome. Welcome to those of you on Facebook as well. It is good to be in the the house of the Lord. Amen. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about undeniable change. Amen. We are going to be talking about undeniable change. Let me just make sure that the people on Facebook can also see my face. The people on YouTube can also see my face. Are you ready to pray to God this morning? We've only got an hour to go, but let's just, just a bit under the hour because now we are four minutes into the broadcast. Thank you so much, Victoria. Thank you. May God bless you and increase you where you're taking. Thank you to all of the, the gifts please guys make sure you're following the gifters uh, wherever you see them uh, make friends with them make friends with each other as well make friends with me follow the host and follow the host whatever platform you're tuning in from i encourage you to also follow me on youtube so that you can be able to re-watch the broadcast zimkita it's good to see you again mama we boys thank you so much for coming back again praise good um morning again i am pretoria south africa beautiful pretoria sunny south africa somebody type in the comment section undeniable change we are going through a transformation this morning Morning. The word that the Lord gave me this morning that we are going to pray on is undeniable change. If you are on Facebook, type undeniable change. If you are on YouTube, type undeniable change. We're going to just change the screen a bit at the back of Fortune Online so that you can have a pretty screen also to look at. But we are talking undeniable change. Amen. Can we just be praying to God? Just be speaking in tongues from wherever you are. Let's just be thanking God for his word this morning. Lord, we thank you for what you are about to do. We thank you for the word that is in season and that is going to meet somebody at the point of their needs in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you that every single prayer will answer somebody's need, oh God. Somebody will get direction from the word that is going to come forth in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, we glorify you um, and we thank you, O God. We declare that your kingdom come and you let your will be done in our lives. Father, point us out where we need to make changes. And Lord, we cannot deny that when you step into our lives, change definitely comes and it will be undeniable. We are still on the 31 days of grace and favor. And we know that when grace comes into a man's life, that is unmerited favor. It comes and changes you completely. And there will be an undeniable transformation and undeniable change that nobody can deny. Favor will come. You will receive favor from God and you will receive favor from men. There will be definitely um, for uh, an unden undeniable change. Are you ready to uh, pray? Are you ready for the word this morning? Hallelujah. Is everybody ready for the word this morning? I'm going to kick off with a scripture from Daniel chapter 2, verse 20 to 21. I'm going to be very quick this morning because I know we're going to have an excellent miracle service as well tonight at 10 p.m. Uh, Daniel chapter 2, verse 20 to 21. It says, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his, and he changeth the times and the seasons. He removes kings and sets up 
up kings. He gives wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that are understanding. Did everybody get the scripture basis for our prayers this morning? The Lord says, I am I, I'm the one who blesses people. I'm the one who carries the empowerment that it can change your life. I'm the one who puts kings in place. I'm the one who dethrones kings. There are people who are dethroned by God because they fall out of the grace. There are people who are dethroned because they are attacked by destiny killers. And that is what we are doing here. If this is your first time, this is the protocol of breaking prayers altar where we pray and we break protocols. We know that God can change things around if we are not following the prescript or the, 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 the script, what God has ordained for us, the blueprint of God. We know that there is definitely evil manipulation and you will see that even in our prayers, we deal with any evil manipulation from mankind so that we can deal with it. Somebody who's coming in a bit late, make sure you are writing for them undeniable change. Let them know that we are on undeniable change. So Daniel answered, Daniel had this revelation that God should be blessed. His name should be glorified. We should always give him the glory. He says, let his name be praised forever and ever. Let his name be blessed forever and ever because he is the source of your promotion. He is the source of your placement. He is the source of everything that you are going to be that is good in your life. Talk to me, somebody. He says, wisdom are his. If I want wisdom to apply in my life, if I want to make decisions that are based on wisdom. I am going to rely on the God of all wisdom. He says he changes things and he changes seasons. He changes the times. It doesn't matter how people can say you have expired, you have exceeded your timeline. It doesn't matter. Thank you so much for that heart. It doesn't matter how far people could be saying to you, you are too old. Those of you who are believing God for marital settlement, those who are believing God for going to school, it doesn't doesn't matter the age that you are. God can turn it around. He says it doesn't matter the season that you are in. You may have been born in a season of poverty in your family, but there is a God that changes seasons and he changes times and he makes sure he elevates some people and he makes sure some people need to learn some lessons in their valleys. And this morning we're going to appeal to him and say, God, change my season, change the time that I'm in. I want a definite turnaround. We are asking God for a 360 degree turnaround. Somebody type in that comment section, undeniable change. We are receiving undeniable change from God. Yes, Anna, he's the source of everything that you are, that you will be. He's the source as long as you continue to acknowledge him. Amen, somebody. I beg your pardon. Let me just get some water. Hallelujah. So the scripture says, he removes kings and he sets kings. So God is in the idea of rulership. God re reinforces in the scripture that he is in the business of giving you dominion. He's in the business of putting you in charge. He wants you in charge of your life. He says he setters up kings. He gives wisdom unto the wise. Amen. And he gives knowledge to them who uh, that no understanding. So if you are that person who's open-minded this morning and you want God to to give you the knowledge, to give you the revelations about your life, to give you the prophetic word about your life. Open up your mind and say, God, I'm ready to receive. My spirit is open to receive in Jesus' mighty name. I am God. I change not, but I am a God of an undeniable change when I step into your life. So as we kick off, Father, we pray. We thank you, Lord, that in this service, Lord, we're going to experience a divine change to this morning in, this, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we understand that without mercy, there can be no positive change in our lives or anyone's life. So, Lord, we ask for mercy. Pray along with me, saints. Lord, we ask you for a divine experience of change, divine change this morning, oh God. We ask you for mercy, oh God. We understand, Lord 
that when you step in, that that, that there will be a positive change in our lives. Hallelujah. When God's mercy comes in, your situation will be turned around. Amen, somebody. And no one can turn it around like God can turn it around. Talk to me. Somebody tell somebody that undeniable change is on the way. Undeniable change has arrived. God is about to turn your situation around into something that you have never believed before. Lord, we thank you. Father, you are the only one that can change anything. I need change. I need your mercy in my life. Somebody declare it with me and decree it with me. Lord, we need change in our situation. That person that has come with a prayer request this morning, that person who has come with a prayer of thanksgiving this morning, thanking you for the change that you have shown them this morning in their lives. Lord, we ask you, Lord, change our situation for the good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to change your situation for the good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, by your mercy this morning, change our situation for the good. Father, we lift up our hands above our head. We ask you, Lord, to help us, oh God. We cannot help ourselves in the name of Jesus. Is there somebody who knows that God can only help them if they just lift up their hands this morning and just realize that they need to humble themselves and say, God, help us this morning. Oh, I see some positive events are about to take place in someone's life. And if those events are about to happen, nobody can keep them hidden. Nobody can hide you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see it clearly and the Lord is echoing it in my ear that he is about to release positive changes in your life. Somebody tell somebody, we are talking about undeniable change. There are different types of changes, child of God. There are different types of changes. There are positive changes and there are negative changes. So we need to be specific what we are asking God for this morning. We are saying, God, we want a positive change in our life. We are going to be focusing on the positive changes. Those are the ones that we Christ died for. Those are the ones that Christ went to the cross for. Those are the ones that Christ was nailed for. Any negative change we don't want. So because God exchanged it for us on that cross of Calvary, Lord, we receive positive change. Somebody say, I receive divine change. I receive undeniable change. Mm tap your screen as you tap on that screen I receive undeniable change this is not a broadcast where I speak alone we speak together you speak by your mouth and you speak by typing in the comment section make sure that you are alive this is your destiny you are the one who is taking appropriation of your possessions this morning tell somebody and tell God and say I receive my undeniable change I receive undeniable change there must be visibility when the thing changes color from black to white undeniable change talk to me somebody Somebody. A change is real. For example, when darkness covers a man and suddenly there is light that comes over, there is a great change. You cannot deny the fact that if I were to switch off this light, there would be total darkness. But when change comes, when God steps in, when the undeniable change of God comes in, there will be definitely a change. Somebody say great change. A great change is coming my way. The book of Psalm chapter 126 verses 1 to 2 says, when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, and we were like them who dreamed. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. Hallelujah. That is the kind of undeniable change we are asking God for this morning. We are saying, God, turn around our captivity so that we can be filled with laughter, so that our enemies will look at us and said, surely the Lord has stepped in and changed things. Great things have been done for me and you because God has has stepped in with undeniable change. Talk to me, somebody. As I'm trekking with the word of God with you this morning, Genesis 21 verse 1 to 8, we see a mother, Sarah, had been barren for 25 years, but when the appointed time, somebody shout appointed time, when there's an appointed time when God steps in, the Bible says mother, our mother, Sarah, became pregnant. People began to see a change in her life. They started seeing a change in a woman that was barren, in a woman that was past the age of menopause even. Talk to me, somebody. Is there somebody who is waiting to be fruitful in their womb? Come on, receive it right now. Turn around my captivity, oh God. Talk to me, somebody. When they saw the tummy was getting bigger, they assumed that she has finished eating quite a lot of food, but there was something bigger that was happening, but she could not help being a mother again because the appointed time has come. Somebody tell your neighbor, my appointed time has come. 
come. My appointed time has come. My appointed time has come. Not even your neighbor can do anything about it. So if you don't want to slap that neighbor, it's okay. Just give them a look by the side and tell them my appointed time has come in the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, there is always an appointed time. There is an appointed time for a man to experience the undeniable changes and the undeniable changes and undeniable goodness of God. There is an appointed time. Nine months later, they looked at Sarah. She brought forth a covenant son. Talk to me. He, she brought forth Isaac, who was a covenant son. And behold, it was an undeniable change. Somebody say, I receive undeniable change in this morning. I'm receiving undeniable change. When Sarah brought forth that child, it was an undeniable change. Talk to me, somebody. He was, she was moved from barrenness to fruitfulness. Talk to me, somebody. When I'm trekking with the word, are we still together? Am I still preaching with you? Are you still preaching with me? Are you taking hold of your destiny? Talk to me, somebody. Mara official, I need you to be alive like you are 6,000 in that broadcast. Talk to me, somebody. Make sure you are tapping on that screen. Oh my God. God takes me to the book of 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 10 to 12. She, he shows me the ark of God that was taken outside of uh, to the, or it was taken to the house of Obed Edom. Hallelujah. I mean, second Samuel chapter six, the Bible shows me that the, the ark of God was taken to the house of Obed Edom, a poor man that after the accident, uh, you know, King David expected him to die, but God prospers him because nobody was supposed to touch this ark. And, and, and everyone thought, oh my God, we know he touched it by mistake, but look what happened. He did not die. Talk to me. King David expected him to die, but God prospered him. David was supposed to die for this error that he allowed to an, an, a mere man who was not a priest to touch the ark of God. But God did not kill David. Hallelujah, somebody. Somebody type undeniable change. Undeniable change. So the ark moves to the house of Obed Edom. That was it's supposed to be punishment. There's supposed to be a penalty. And, and, and everybody expected calamity to happen. People had written him off that he would end up a poor man. But in a few moments, we see changes. God turned around the financial state. His financial state was changed. David was expecting Obed Edom to have died. But instead, because of the ark of God that was residing in the house of Obed Edom. God began to change things. God began to bless Obed Edom. God began to bless the animals of Obed Edom. When God's presence enters your life, it doesn't matter what is happening. Everything around you will flourish. People who are around you will flourish as well. You will move from poverty to prosperity. Do I have people in the house who want that declaration and who want that prophetic word to manifest in their life? Somebody say, I am moving from poverty to prosperity. I will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. You will prosper like the ark is in your house. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Maybe they have concluded on you that you cannot move forward. Maybe they have concluded on you that you will not graduate from your university, your school, or your college. They, oh, the devil is a liar. Maybe they just look at you as a common person. They are saying that your business is just a common baker. You are a common baker ba or a, a hairstylist or whatever it is. They are looking at you. They are looking down on you. They have concluded that nothing good can come out of you. Nothing good can come out of your business, but God, somebody shout, but God, undeniable change. Lord, I receive undeniable change in the name of Jesus Christ. The conclusion of men may be that they have written you off, but God can change that situation this morning. And the Lord has sent me this morning to tell you undeniable change is about to hit you. Undeniable change. The blessings at the rate of the ark of God are about to hit your household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Yes, so oh God, God, I receive undeniable change. I like those of you who are preaching with me. I like those of you who are tapping on that screen because if I cannot see you praising God with your hands and lifting up, let me see those lights going up. Let me see you. Hallelujah. If David, if, if David knew he wouldn't have taken the ark of God to the house of Obed Edom, he would have kept it in the house for himself. But look at what a mere accident did. It made sure that it pro prospered Obed Edom. 
Listen, child of God, when a man writes something concerning you, it can be wiped away and changed. But when God writes something concerning you, it can never be canceled. When God decides to bless you, that blessing cannot be canceled in the name of Jesus. It cannot be reversed in the name of Jesus. Are we communicating together? Make sure you are shouting that amen well. Make sure you are shouting that amen well. When David, David said to Obed-Edom, should die by, by, by the virtue of the ark of God. But God said, Obed-Edom, be alive and prosper. Oh, Shakariya Basunda. Somebody claim that for, for yourself. The Lord is saying this morning, be alive and prosper. Be alive and prosper. Tell your neighbor, touch your neighbor, slap them at the side of their head. Tell them, be alive and prosper. Tag that neighbor and tell them, be alive and prosper. They have no option. As they have showed up on this altar of PBP, you have to be alive and prosper. Some people have negative dreams, but God is saying that only his word will come to pass not your negative dreams, not the nightmares that you have been having. As long as you will wake up this morning and declare that I receive the undeniable change of God. Some people have negative dreams and they think that those dreams are going to manifest when they wake up. But God says, if my word has not said it, if it is not in my divine plan, it ain't going to happen. If you are not going to be a lazy Christian and you're not going to be quiet about it, it ain't going to happen. Some people have, have terrible dreams and realities that have tried to pull their destiny. Hallelujah. They are trying to pull your destiny down, but he stood his ground and his redeemer liveth. Who am I talking about? If Obed Edom stood his ground and the Lord redeemed him and he saw that the redeemer indeed lives. Somebody needs to say to themselves, fortune your redeemer lives. Therefore you will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. As I track with this word of God, let me take you to the book of Mark chapter 5 verses 1 to 20. A man that was possessed by many demons, he lived in a graveyard child of God. No one was able to control him. He saw Jesus and he ran to him. Are we checking together? He saw Jesus and he ran to him and worshipped him. Some people are too blasé and too comfortable and too casual about it. When you see and you can sense that there's an unction of God in this broadcast, you are sitting there, you are still checking what other people are saying. If I was you, I was going to jump on this anointing and say, God, I receive undeniable change. I am receiving it for myself. This is not time to be a spectator. Tater. Mm. The Bible says that the man who was possessed by demons, who was living in the graveyard, saw Jesus, he ran to him, and he, he, he worshipped him. And he was permanently and totally healed. Is there somebody who's believing God for their healing this morning? I'm here to say to you, if you see Jesus, if you have a sense that Jesus is in this live broadcast this morning, I want you to rush to him. And you say, Father, I submit myself. Here I am, O God. Lord, let your anointing touch me. Oh, yes, O God. I receive receive my healing. I receive my physical healing. I receive my mental healing. I receive healing from, from whatever it is. Karabo Shonda, no doctor can, 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 can claim to change you, but God can change you completely. Doctors fail, child of God, but today we receive our healing in the name of Jesus. Many people saw that he, he, who he was and how he was behaving before this transformation. Many people who saw him and testified because the one that was not known to be a mad person, now became an evangelist who, who went around telling people what God had done and how God had delivered him. Am I talking to you, somebody? Hallelujah. The, God does not fail to have testimonies. God is one person who can present evidence before any court of law, before any court of heaven. People gave up on Lazarus because he had died for four days and he, they said he was smelling. But Jesus did not listen at that nonsense. Jesus was not in, interested in any scientific smelling Rigomotis, whatever it is, stage of death that they said he was in. At the end, Lazarus came back to life because, ah, Kayobo Shonde, he was dead but came back to life after four days. Somebody says, give me four days. Tell your neighbor, give me four days. Just give me four days or whatever is dead. So see the transformation. In four days, they will not recognize you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, my God. My God is a sweet God. My God is an advocate and a counselor that can represent me well. I I know that I will not be caught in jail if God is my counselor. He told me that the Holy Spirit is my advocate. Oh, 
You can't afford the lawyer. You need Holy Spirit to be your lawyer. Because look at what the lawyer did. In the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, the Bible talks about a man called Jabez. Jabez' his mother gave a birth to him, and he gave him a name, and he called him Jabez, which is the name of sorrow. But one day he became tired of his situation. I need people this morning who are saying, I am tired of a sorrowful situation. I am tired of being called Dikeledi. Let me tell you, for those of you who are not in South Africa, Dikeledi means tears. For you to be called tears, your life may have been reflecting tears or you have been born in a situation where your mother was crying or people were fighting. Some names you need to renounce so that they don't get manifestation. The more they call you that thing. I have somebody who's called hatred, hallelujah, in Zulu. And, and, and she does and she said, I renounce that name. Whatever the name they named me as parents, I don't know why they gave me that name. I refuse it in Jesus' mighty name. You need to renounce certain names that they called you with. You need to speak if you need to give yourself a name and ask God, who am I? If you don't have a way to, I'm, I'm naming you right now. Your name is blessed. Your name is favored. So we see that in the Bible, God, she sees a man, a man who turns around. Uh, uh, the situation is turned around. Jabez's situation was turned around from sorrow. His story changed from lack. His story changed from sorrow. His, cha his story changed into that of uh, prosperity. God bless you, Zimkita. In the name of Jesus Christ, we begin Jab see, to see Jabez's life change to a, a life of joy. Until you are angry enough with your situation, child of God, change cannot come up upon you. Somebody type in that comment section. I receive my undeniable change. I receive undeniable change in the name of Jesus Christ. I need people who are angry with their situation. I need people who are saying I'm enough with, en with this being enough. I'm enough with people just running ransack over me. I'm enough with birds just crowning their head on my head and doing as if they were whatever they want. Talking about me any way they want. Looking down me eh, on me any way they want. I know that change has come upon me. When you are tired of your situation, it will propel you to move forward. It will propel you to take prayers and to move in prayers. It will propel you to wake up at 5 a.m. and to be on this broadcast. It is not easy. Others seek another glory of some sort in the mornings, but you have come this morning to say, I seek the glory of God. I don't know who is enough, who is enough, who is so angry with their situation, who is saying, I am ready to fast and pray as much as I can. Today is Friday, right? Let me remind you, we are fasting, by the way, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Holy Spirit, I need people who are angry. Do I have people who are angry in the broadcast? Kashekelebe sende undeniable change. We see them. We see them. We see Jabez, undeniable change. Lord God is saying, I need a violent man in prayer. If there is a man to pray to me, I am the God who is there to answer. I am ready to bring changes to his situation. When a man is tired of his situation, when a woman is tired of his situation, something positive will happen. Everybody that is not ordained to be in your life, let them be removed and uprooted in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who is causing you destruction so that you don't have undeniable change. Let them be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Change, child of God, is not dependent on your certificate and your qualifications in the university, but what God wants to do in your life. That is what change is dependent on. Change, you can only experience undeniable change when you are connected to the one who is the anointed Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ himself, the anointed one of Nazareth. There are many people who are called Jesus. Be careful who you are praying to. Can pray to Jesus Christ, the anointed one, so that you receive the anointing. Understand why you are called a Christian. You are carrying the anointing, which is in Jesus Christ. And by virtue of the anointing, the yoke shall be destroyed. The yoke shall be removed. Every obstacle is removed. The oil is for the ease. The oil is to make sure that you understand that you will glow and you will shine. You will experience grace and favor. You will be favored by God and you will be favored by men. Talk to me in case you are still doubting whether there is an undeniable change that God has set aside for you. The Bible tells me that Esther in the book of Esther chapter 2, this woman was a slave. She was an orphan. She obtained grace and favor in the sight of the king and was chosen amongst other virgins of the land. She came out of a lineage of slaves, but she was changed to becoming a queen. Who can agree with me that this is an undeniable change? Talk to me. I am changing. I'm changing. Lord, I 
I receive my undeniable change. In the name of Jesus, that was a great change for Esther. The foundation she laid changed her entire generation. Do you understand that the entire generation that followed her, her siblings were laid up for life. They were laid up for royalty. Karobo Shonda, Nialanga, receive undeniable change as you pray along with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Koraba Sonda, in John chapter 5, verse 15, we see another man. Oh, somebody tell me that God, tell me that Jesus doesn't exist. Have I not given you evidence since I started? Look at what happens at the pool of Bethesda. Kariaba Sonda, Keshionda Rebe. The Bible says there was a man who was waiting by the pool of Bethesda, waiting for somebody to help him inside the pool. They were waiting for the angels to trouble the waters so that he can be healed. But help didn't come from there until Jesus appeared and asked him to carry his bed and that his, and so that he can be made whole. And immediately it was made whole. Some of you, God has been giving instructions and you have not been following instructions. Carry your bed. Stop feeling pity for yourself. Who are you waiting for to carry you? Carry yourself. Carry your load. Some people, God has been saying, leave that relationship. Leave that relationship. Leave that relationship. I said it. How many times did I say it? I said it three times, yeah? God is saying, carry your bag. Step into the pool. Be made whole. And when you are made whole, you will meet a better person. You will meet better partners, people who are not crooks. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, talk to me, somebody. The Jews asked who healed him because they saw an undeniable change in this man. May God make sure that in four days, I told you four days, our template is four days. In four days, an undeniable change. You will start seeing the effects of an undeniable change in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. An undeniable change. Talk to me, somebody. After Jesus was taken to heaven, the disciples were afraid because they were powerless. They locked themselves up into the room of uh, because they were fearing. They couldn't do anything because their master was taken home. But in the book of Acts, somebody say, but God. Anytime you see the scripture that says, but, you know that God is about to intervene. You know that undeniable change is about to hit you. Talk to me, somebody. Ah, in the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 2, an undeniable change came upon the disciples and suddenly fear left them. Talk to me, somebody. There was an undeniable change that came upon them. They received the spirit of boldness and they were able to preach with the gospel without fear. Most believers are walking in the street, but they are locked up their spirituality. They are too scared to say they are spiritual. They are too scared to tell the other people that they are Christian. They don't even have time to close their businesses to make prayers. I have much respect for people of other religions, especially in Islam. When an Islam person is knows that a Muslim knows that it's time to pray, they don't care how much money you want to bring into their business. They will make sure they stop the train and they pray. But Christians, they've got every single excuse. They've got grooving in, in the plan. They've got all sorts of things. Until things are breaking down, that's when you want to come to God. Make May that never be your testimony in Jesus' name. May God set you up even now in Jesus' mighty name. You will not wait until things break down. It's okay. If things are already breaking down, let's work through it together here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now we see in the book of Acts, in the Apostles' book, that they now started to show off their spirituality and their Christianity. Mm child of God. The giant inside many believers have. They have this giant inside, but it's sleeping because their spirit has been locked up spiritually. Today we are dealing with that giant. Lizzie, God will set you up as long as you are declaring, I receive undeniable change. I receive the anointing for undeniable change. I receive anointing for undeniable change. How am I doing for time? You will experience undeniable change in the name of Jesus. Why? Why would you experience it? Because you are a born again child of God, because you are a committed to the things of God, because you are a soul winner. If you are doing every other thing and you're calling yourself a Christian and you're not even doing this three, I don't know. 
I've said it. Let me tell you, recap. You must be born again. You must be committed to the things of God. You must be a soul winner. Hallelujah. If you care about the people of God, why am I waking up every single morning? Why are we on this broadcast to make sure that we bring souls to Christ? Hallelujah. The number one duty of a doctor is to save lives. So God calls you a minister of reconciliation. He calls you a doctor of reconciliation. Your number one duty is to save lives. He's all about saving lives. Believers are like them. We have the authority to save lives, to preach the gospel, to save lives. Hallelujah. So if you are a believer, it's not for your pastor to preach the gospel only. You who's listening to me, it is your responsibility to evangelize. Undeniable positive changes are coming to you, Anna. As long as you tell somebody about the gospel of Christ, as long as you continue to win others for Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't know how to win souls for Christ, even when you are not, you are not solid in Christ, you will experience undeniable change in your life this morning. The Lord will empower you. You will grow spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Put your whole trust in God. These are the people who are the candidates to receive undeniable change. Put your whole trust in God, not on your friends, not on your family members. Yes, destiny helpers can come within your family, but they can call, also come from outside your family. Put your undeniable, complete trust in God. Talk to me. Put your Be prayerful. Ask God to give you an undeniable change this morning. Do I have people who are still checking with me? My dear lady, hallelujah. Father, I renounce tears from her life. You will not cry, my dear lady. I don't know what has not been working in your life, but God says to me, I must tell you, expect a visitation in the next four days. If you can stick with these prayers, stick around with these prayers. May your name not manifest. Your name should not manifest in your life, but experience joy. Receive the anointing of joy. I don't know. Let me just be bold. If you can just adopt this name, your name is joy. Your name is joy. Hallelujah. Let God speak and confirm it. You'll come back and tell me in Jesus' mighty name. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, let me make sure I'm wrapping up so that we can pray. God is too big to fail you. God will not fail you. Marika lady, is it making sense? You have been having too many heavy things. You receive it, yeah? It, things have not been working out, my baby. And God just stopped me to just tell you that name. That name. The circumstances don't warrant you where you're going. Where you're going is joy. Where you're going is joy. And from today, you are joy. In Jesus' mighty name. Luke chapter 21 verse 15 says, For I will give you a mouth and a wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or nor resist. I will give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversaries shall not be able to say no or to be against and to resist in Jesus mighty name. God is too big to fail you. Lizzie King, God is too big to fail you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, can we raise up our hands from wherever you are? Raise up your hands, even in the comment section. If you know the hand emoji, make sure you are raising your hands. Lord, I surrender. Let it be our sign of surrender. Just do it once. Just raise your hands in the comment section. Or you, if you, if you don't know how to use the emojis, just say, Lord, I raise my hands. I surrender. I need you to declare it in the comment section. I surrender. Show me mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, show me mercy. You are too big to fail me. You are too big to abandon me. Can we pray together? Somebody type it in the comment section. Lord, you are too big to fail me. You are too big to abandon me. You are too big. You are undeniable and you bring undeniable change. Lord, I receive undeniable change. Make sure you are typing that. Amen. If you have raised them once, come back to the comment section so that I know we are still tracking together. Oh, yes, oh God, I receive undeniable change in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, you rule the affairs of men. I give you all the glory. You rule my affairs as well. I give you all the glory for you have to, you have power to do exceedingly abundantly more than my eye my understanding could ever comprehend, more than I have ever expected. I has not seen, ear has not heard what you are about to do in my life and our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you have power to do in my life what no man can do. You have power to give me an undeniable change 
change testimony in the next four days oh god let it be established inside of me as i continue to brood on this word oh god in the name of jesus oh god in the mighty name of jesus i rise like a lion this morning i rise to declare my placement i rise to take my placement of rulership that you have positioned me in any power hiding in the darkness uh, afflicting my life uh, i declare and i decree that you shall be exposed in the mighty name of jesus christ uh, let me declare it and decree it for you in case you don't know shakoria masonda any power apostle karebe shokonda any power anabe aneke haleba shokoria masanda any power koni any power hiding in darkness that has been afflicting your life uh, let it be exposed uh, in the name of jesus christ let that power hiding in the darkness be disgraced in the mighty name of jesus as you shout that amen well make sure that heaven echoes make sure that even as you type it you you, you type louder than my name not my voice even in jesus mighty name father we declare and we decree that everybody who's at the sound of my voice uh, shall excel above everybody around them in the name of jesus christ uh, you will excel father i declare and i decree that every single person at the sound of my voice Lord, they are moving out of the valley of life where they are in. They are moving to their mountaintop experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Shakori Amasonda. I said you are moving out of your valley experience. God is positioning you on your mountaintop experience. I break every chain, anything evil, anything, if any chain running in your family that has been holding you, breaking you down, holding you back, making you delay in terms of your prosperity. Right now, it is broken in the name of Jesus. We break every single chain we break every single chain oh god make us whole we receive your undeniable change in the mighty name of jesus christ oh shekeri arasonda hey whatsoever will not allow the desire and expectation of God in your life to come to pass in your life. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn them today in the name of Jesus Christ. I said whatsoever will not allow you to succeed and move forward. Let them catch fire of the Holy Ghost right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I raise, I rise this morning to declare and to decree that every de- every demonic traffic, whatever it is, any demonic convoy that is trying to divert good things away from from us in the mighty name of Jesus that demonic traffic is being paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I need you to see you shout that amen well are you shouting that amen well make sure you paralyze any demonic activity any demonic convoy any demonic traffic trying to divert you from what you are supposed to get any demonic traffic that is uh, uh, paralyzing you or di- di- diverting you from your destiny now that that demonic activity it catches fire in the mighty name of jesus christ so shekeli amasonda eh the devil is a liar my battery will not go down karobo shekete kala masonda era masekete mi asonda di amasete ka shekete kidia father my father any power holding down any satanic pot any power holding down any satanic pot break and release me now any name that they have put in any satanic pot if you are on this broadcast right now i declare i decree that satanic pot will break now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any shrine where they mentioned you for delay, let that shrine catch fire. Let that shrine catch fire. Even if it is from your father's house or your mother's house, anybody, whether it is your relative or career, in the next four days, God expose them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let them catch fire. I do not have to declare what has to happen to them, but let the wrath of God visit anybody who has been manipulating your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my father, my father, by reason of this anointing, please do not abandon me. My father, my father, by reason of this anointing me, do not abandon that person who's believing you for healing right now in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, do not abandon those people who are believing you for undeniable change in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, by reason of this anointing this morning, oh, shake the heavens, oh God, 
shake the earth, oh God. Lift up my head, oh God. Lift up my head in all areas of my life. I declare and I decree, as I have declared it now, your head is being lifted in every single area of your life. By virtue of the anointing, the heavens are shaking to lift up your head. Gates are being lifted for you. There are no heights. There are no heights or no that anybody has attained in your generation that are going to be seen in your life. God is lifting you up on the high, above the heights of any other person. Wherever the levels others have reached, God is going to take you above that in the name of Jesus Christ by reason of the anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you shouting that amen well? Mm. Masipuru, God is lifting you up in the name of Jesus Christ. Karia Masunda, lift up my head in every level, in every area of my life, in the name of Jesus. Kara Shekete Kida Masunda, you will reach where others have not reached. You will reach where your parents did not reach. You will reach where, even if your parents, Kashokata, the Lord give me grace. Next week, I'm going to teach on this. The, the, the issues and the mistakes done by parents, we need to deal with them. We need to bring them down in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare and I decree that. Today, every single person who is at the sound of my voice will wear the crown of positive change. From this morning, from this night, wherever you are tuning in from, whatever time zone you are in. I speak to you now. Distance is no barrier. Receive the crown of positive change. Undeniable positive change. Receive that crown. Put your head on your hand on your head and say, I receive a positive crown of change in the name of Jesus. Oh, mayasa. I decree and declare that you will receive positive change. I decree and I declare that every chain that has been tying your legs not to get to your undeniable change, it breaks in the name of Jesus. I I declare and I decree that you will receive a great new thing in the name of Jesus. Every single form of satanic bondage covering your eyes that you will not see your help of destiny have been removed now in the name of Jesus. I remove every single form of cataract that has been hiding your destiny helpers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, receive that sight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will receive a great new thing. You will see it. You will not miss it. You will appropriate it. You will catch it in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, oh God. Today is a Turn around for me. Today is a turn around for me. I am receiving undeniable change. Claim it for yourself. If you shout that amen, well, you are claiming it for the self. After this service, this morning, Lord, I will testify in the name of Jesus because you have turned my situation around. Every single form of barrenness, every single form of financial barrenness, every single form of physical barrenness, every form of, of academic barrenness in your life, there is a change right now that is happening. Receive divine change. How am I doing for time? Five minutes and I'm out. In the mighty name of Jesus, before the end of this year, before the end of this month, what am I even saying? Lord, expedite it in this month, oh God. By the time the end of this year comes, Lord, let me be doing a celebration that I will invite Pastor Fortune in. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that my financial levels are moving into the next level. Receive the grace to have the finances to buy the car you have been believing God for. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any power that has been mocking you or stopping you, they will bow at your feet. I said any power that has been mocking you and, and stopping you, they will bow at your feet. Facebook and YouTube, they will bow at your feet in the name of Jesus Christ. Every luggage of poverty, shame, witches, wizard, sickness, get out in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you are doing. Get out. Remember, go and listen to that message. The battle is at the gate. Do not allow witches and wizards to even enter your gate. They must not even smell your gate in the name of Jesus. Get out. Pack your load. Pack your bags and go out of my life. In the name of Jesus, stop visiting me in dreams in Jesus' mighty name. Stop giving me evil dreams where I'm eating things and you are trying to bewitch me. I reject you. Any form of witchcraft, you will have no effect on me in Jesus' mighty name. My God, my God, I see mercy locating some people this morning. Oh, Shakari, Amasunda. Mm, Mam Jester, God is locating you. Mercy is locating you in the name of Jesus. Somebody spoke of something about a dream there. Please make sure... <clears throat> Moderators, catch that. Karabashonda. If you want to interpret that dream, you can go ahead, moderator. Mercy is locating you. Mercy will open doors for you without even knocking. In the name of Jesus, any door you've been knocking, you cannot break your knuckles knocking on the same door. That door must open in the name of Jesus Christ. Karabashonda. He says, I'm the God that holds the keys of David. I'm the God that holds the keys.
Sakate. Receive the keys to unlock the doors you've been work, you've been knocking on. In the name of Jesus, Karaba Sonda. If you are locked up in the room of depression right now, it's time to come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you are locked up in the room of poverty, I declare you are coming out now, right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you shout and slender that amen well, make sure you are coming out. As I say you are coming out, you say that amen. And you believe it in your heart and you see yourself walk out of that room. Walk out of that poverty room. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are coming out of that room of affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you and decree that you are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear denying you of great change, right now it dies. Every spirit of fear, it is dying now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear that has been holding you back, it is dying right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, every spirit of fear, let it go down. I cannot not take hold of my undeniable change. I'm receiving my great change. Fear, pack your load and go out in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Every mark of disfavor, every mark of disfavor ah, on your forehead. I speak to that mark of disfavor on your forehead. I wipe it right now by the anointing of Jesus. I wipe away every mark of disfavor. I wipe away every mark of satanic. Can I divert? The Lord says, I am wiping away the mark that has been attracting you to married men. Married men are attracted to you. You've been asking, when is my marital? settlement will be. Why am I only attracted to men who are unavailable? That mark of disfavor is being removed and the Lord will repel them from now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will receive your destined person. In the name of Jesus, your destined spouse is coming. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh my God, my God, we receive undeniable change. Somebody shout that amen. Well, if it, that is you that I spoke about, you're welcome to testify in the comment section. That door that you have been praying for Yes, let it be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Every single form of, of fear, spirit of fear that has been denying you, right now it is dead in Jesus' mighty name. Every satanic part that has been holding you down, right now it is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Your certificate is coming out. Your car is coming out. Your title deed is coming out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We take it out of the satanic part. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I take out that, that, that graduation certificate certificate. I take out your title deed. I take out your marital uh, uh, certificate. In the name of Jesus, anything that is in that pot, it breaks completely. It cannot even be glued together. Not even super glue can do anything about it. In the name of Jesus, every way your spiritual eyes has plucked out, making you not to see where your opportunities are. Receive your sight now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not miss your opportunities. Receive your sight to receive your sight for every single opportunity opportunity that is being brought in your way. Every satanic ring that was placed in your finger, causing delay, they are removed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every single seed of disappointment that has you have been facing in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single seed of disappointment right now in the power of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the power that is in the name of Jesus, I speak to that disappointment. I command that seed to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted, be uprooted rooted let it be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus yes Lord everywhere their blessings have been hijacked we recover them now we recover our blessings we retrieve our blessings in the name of Jesus let your reign of blessings fall on us right now your reign of blessings oh God will not stop falling on us Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in Jesus mighty name your joy will not be turned to bitterness in the name of Jesus Christ, as you shout that amen well, I want you to say, I receive undeniable change. I receive my joy. I receive my joy. The Lord says, I must tell you as we close, that every form of bitterness has been swapped around for your joy. In Jesus' mighty name, receive. Madike lady, receive your joy. There's a reason this is my last prayer. Kashakata kanda basunda. I don't know what is your surname, but from today I will call you joy. 
joy in the name of Jesus. Receive your joy in Jesus' mighty name. I receive my joy. I receive my joy. I receive my undeniable change in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for every single person that is tuned into this broadcast on Facebook, on YouTube, and on TikTok. Lord, let there be a visitation that is undeniable. Let there be a change that is undeniable. Lord, as they go out into the world, let them carry the favor and the evidence of undeniable change. Joy is their portion in Jesus' mighty name. As they type that amen well, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for choosing me as a vessel this morning. I thank you, Lord, that you have made sure that anything, anything that came out of my mouth, oh God, has been just from the throne of heaven, oh God. I have downloaded, oh God, everything that you wanted me to download to your saints. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we glorify you. There is none like you. You are the God that changes everything around. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for visiting us in this morning. Thank you, Lord, that you go with us as we go into our day. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for empowering us. Thank you, for Lord, for every single person who is on our broadcast, who has been following our ministry, who has been uh, uh, um, um, joining us, Lord, becoming part of the team, becoming part of the partners, becoming part of, uh, you know, just, just following the host, whatever they're doing, oh God, in their single amen. Every time they type that amen, any time, Lord, they type even whatever they type in our videos, oh God, Lord, let those amens echo for them in Jesus' mighty name. Let those amens give them an answer. Let there be a reference point that will point them to their Ebenezer when life was changed around. Thank you, Lord, for having grown those who have grown spiritually, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, that their prayer life shall no longer be weak in Jesus' mighty name. And the saints of God said, amen. Please, as we are closing now, please make sure you type in that comment section, tag somebody and say it's your time to testify. And if they don't want to tag you back, type it for yourself and say it is my time to testify. Let me wave goodbye to Facebook and YouTube as well. I love you so much. Make sure you are following on the YouTube channel. Make sure you go and follow on the TikTok as well. We put different content in different places, but YouTube, you always have extra more. And you can go back and rewatch the broadcast. God bless you. I love you so so much it is your time to testify youtube it is your time to testify uh facebook god bless you guys remember to follow apostle mara's new facebook remember our page was hijacked but the devil is a liar we will grow again we will grow it again no problem but we will be principally on youtube amen god bless you we see you tonight at 10 p.m miracle night i believe there's going to be deliverance there somebody's going to be delivered in jesus name i love you so much god bless you